we all love to streak, whether it's a kill streak or a gun streak. And if you play hardcore, you know how hard it is to streak with your limited health and a lot of the times your lack of the minimap. What's up guys, my name is Captain Shakes, thanks for stopping by and welcome to the channel. What you are seeing in the background is the midst of a 35 plus kill streak and I'm going to save almost a 20 gun streak until I get destroyed by a rocket launcher. And in this video I am going to give you some tips on how to gain those longer streaks when you're playing hardcore. But before we begin, at the end of the video if you enjoyed it, don't forget to click that like video and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn on all notifications. And also, don't forget to stay connected with me on my Twitter. Go ahead and search Captain Shakes and hit that follow button. Now, like I said, streaking in hardcore is hard. So the first tip I'm giving you is know when to push up. Now, reaction time is key when pushing up, especially when going into an enemy spawn or if you know there's more than one, two, three enemies in that location. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about is the minimap. If you have a minimap up and you know where they are, that's 50-50. Go into that one on two, one on three, 50-50, and let your reaction time do the work. However, if you do not have good reaction time, stay put and let them come to you. Another good thing is a headset. Now, in this gameplay that you see in the background, I am actually not using a headset at the time. I actually turn my headset on in the middle of the streak to stay on the streak. But using a headset is key because you can hear the footsteps and if they're not running dead silence you're going to be able to hear them from a mile away. If you don't feel confident on going a 1 on 3 or a 1 on 4 just don't do it. Swallow your pride, stay put where you are and let them come to you because it's much more satisfying when you get those 3 or 4 kills than to die trying to get those 3 or 4 kills. I don't ever suggest pushing into an enemy spawn or pushing into a group of enemies unless I know that I'm going to win that gunfight 100% of the time. And like I said, a good headset, map awareness, knowing where the enemies and your teammates are will get you those kills. And if you're like two or three kills or maybe a kill and a tag away from getting your high score streaks and you don't feel confident rushing into an enemy or group of enemies, just don't do it. Stay back. Let them come to you. Because like I said, it's more rewarding when you get your streaks with kills than to die one off. Now the second tip I have for you is picking your gunfights. Usually, typically when I see a player or a teammate or one of my subs or a viewer or whoever who is playing with me, usually if they're close to a streak, I see them get all tense and antsy and I see them picking a gunfight where they know they're not going to win. For example, if they're in a long range of sight, I see them trying to pick off an enemy with an SMG and most of the time I see them die. So make sure you are picking your gunfights wisely. If you're rocking an assault rifle, you can tend to stick to those long lines of sight. However, if you're using something like a shotgun or an SMG and you're going against a long range of sight with an assault rifle, I know it's hardcore and it's usually one shot to kill, but that just means that you're one shot death away. So don't engage in those gunfights that you know you're not going to win. However, if you are pinned down and you're in a pickle and you know that the enemy team is going to outgun you, stay inside, go find a building, go behind a head glitch, do anything you could for cover to make sure that you're going to win that gunfight, whether it's short range, medium range, or long range of sight. And that brings me to my final tip. Play safe. Like in the video that I uploaded maybe a week ago, I said play to survive. When you're playing hardcore, you have limited health. Not many people realize that. Many people hate on hardcore because it's only one shot kill, but you gotta realize it's also one shot death. So play it safe. If you are very close to a streak, get behind a head glitch. Or after you get a kill, keep pre-aiming in case another enemy is coming. Another little tip, if you're playing a game like Kill Confirmed, don't go after a tag after you kill an enemy because there might be an enemy right there and he's going to stop you on your street. So play to survive. Get in that mentality when you get a kill and you're one or two off of this big streak. Just play it safe. Hold back. 
pre-aim, pre-fire if you have to, get behind a head glitch, use grenades, get inside for cover, just make sure that you stay alive to get that streak. So with that said, those are three tips on how to streak and how to go on longer gun streaks and kill streaks and hardcore in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Now these tips will also work with core, so don't feel like you have to play hardcore. Let me know in the comment section if these worked out for you. Also, let me know in the comment section if they did not work out for you. And as always, guys, stay cool, fool. Don't hate, eat some cake, thick thighs and bright eyes. And for God's sakes, guys, keep on grinding. I know I'm going to get it. I just don't know how. I've never felt how I feel right.